Welcome to Talent on Tap. I'm Brendan Brown. I head up recruiting here at LinkedIn. And I'm Pat Waters, head of HR at LinkedIn. Welcome to Talent on Tap today. This week we are talking about the big M, millennials. A topic that is everywhere and anywhere in the world today. And we think it's important for us to break it down and understand how to embrace this very important population that is going to be leading us in the future. So it's a special edition. Why? Because we had some really cool guests. I mean, we even had a millennial manager talking about leading millennials. Yeah. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. So join us. It's a fun discussion and a really important one. I'm a mom of millennials, and <laughs> I can't imagine them managing anything, much less their life and other people. So, like, I am going to learn from this. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm really going to learn. I've been waiting for this moment to riff with you. So as a millennial, mm -hmm. what is unique about managing your peer set, your demographic peer set? And I would say managing millennials is a lot about feelings. Right, they talk a lot about, do I feel the belonging? Um, are they caring about my career development? Um, what's the purpose of the work that I'm doing? So a lot of it is about feeling. Um, so I think knowing that, because I'm millennial, managing millennials, um, I feel like that's just what you need to focus on for these, this group of people. Um, is to really check in on them and say, how are you feeling in the role? Really drive towards, this is why you're doing the work that you're doing. This is the impact that you're making at the company and really head on um, in that perspective. So do you get use Snapchat to share your feelings <laughs> or do you actually do face-to-face? -face? Do you text? Yeah. Do you communicate you, using a different vehicle? What do you do? You have to get to their level. So you're texting all the time. <laughs> we have we have group text that and we have bitmojis. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's an emoji that um, looks like you. Yeah. yeah. I don't have one. You gotta get your you gotta get your bitmoji. <laughs> you have to get your bitmoji. Um, so you try to get to their level and find the common interest. Strength. Where does it begin on, on feelings, actually? Uh huh. Oh, that's I, a good point. You know, yeah. like where is where to what end? I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't think there should be, I don't think you should draw a line on feelings. Okay. I feel like it is a lot of listening to their opinions. They want to be heard and they want to make sure that they are being heard. It's not just listening, but also drawing actions to it. So I think the important part is the actions that you do after you hear them out. So I know a lot of them are always interested in their next opportunity or how can I get to the next level? They all want to be the VP of talent acquisition one day. They do? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to take your job really job fast. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's hearing them out, seeing how they feel, then helping them build a plan of how to get there. And that's, um, it's a lot of helping them build a plan being there to coach them on how to build that plan and setting expectations that just because you feel a certain way doesn't mean you get that. Mm -hmm. you, you, we are changing things to meet your needs or where you're feeling a little off. Okay. It's always, hey, you're feeling this way. Let's understand how we can get you to feel differently. So let's build a plan. Do we need to meet more often? Do you want to um, build more skill sets in a certain area? And I'll give you more projects in that area. So what's... Um, what, about, what about when the answer is just flat out no? From her or from the Yeah, from, from, from you to the... Like someone no, they on your can't team. do whatever yeah. they want. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think it's listening, but then it's also explaining why. So it's just saying and, like. And how's how's the reaction in your experience when it's like you know I appreciate that you're feeling that way, but. Brendan's not leaving his job. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> you know, that's what I was getting at. You know? I know you're a little threatened. It's okay. Because we need to tell you. <laughs> you can't have my job at some point. You gotta you gotta wait. I think it's always. I think it's really important to put action to everything. So yes, you're saying no. It's unfortunate you can't have Brendan's job. But if that is something that you're interested in, I'll keep that in mind. So if something comes up that's around town acquisition, I could try to get you involved. Mm. What's a frustration and like as it relates to managing? A millennial team, are there, are there things you're just like, man, I've had it up to here? With yeah, do this you look at your constituents pattern. and say, stop, you got to stay in role for X period of time, you're not the expert you think you are, or stop texting? I mean, where do you draw the line? <laughs> Don't the stop. Um, I would say. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's just laughing. <laughs> for foosball. I'm laughing because I'm, I'm, I'm picturing, I'm picturing I don't know. The, the suggestions that you might have about drinking at 11. Like, there are other times in the day. Have you thought yes. about other times? <laughs> yes. In, in a millennial type. What? I'm just, anyway. Yeah, I think um, there are people who always are trying to get to your next play, and you're like, but you need to wait. So I think it's really important as a manager to set that timeline for them mm -hmm. and set expectations to say, if you're trying to get to here, here's a long path of how you could get there. Let's first focus on this, whether it's a skill set or a project. Then once you nail that, what's the next thing that you can focus mm -hmm. on? So you're actually building that ladder, ladder for them. Um, to help them get there. That way they can see what is in front of them, not thinking they could just skip to the Got next it. level. Giving them clarity. Yeah. So give Brenda and I clarity. Like, we want to be great. Mm -hmm. I think we're pretty good. Mm -hmm. But wow. we, we, can, we can improve. Give us a tip that we could do different to better relate to a millennial. Listen to them, um, empower them to make change, and help coach them. I think that's the biggest thing. Spend more time coaching. Spend more time coaching, because a, a lot of times they want to come up with the answer themselves. They don't want us to give them, whether they think it or not. Now the data shows that. They want a big goal, they want to be accountable for the goal, but they want to know uh, that they have the right to figure out how to achieve the goal. What was your biggest surprise managing millennial? Is so it a lot of emotions and taking things drama. personally? But in what way would mm -hmm. you define know. drama? So like, so do they spin on themselves too long? Do they take it personally too long? Like, you got to tell them more mm -hmm. context. Is that what you're trying to mm -hmm. say to us? Mm -hmm. So they do, they have a lot of feelings and they want to feel a belonging and cared for. It. Um, so it is a lot of um, uh, talking them through the different situations, helping them see the other side of things. Yeah, I do that at home a lot. I can see that. Yeah, see? I can see that. You're an expert. <laughs> I can see that. Any last tips and tricks that you'd like to give millennials working with a millennial manager? What, what's nuanced about working for you? Because you haven't been a manager that long. Mm -hmm. Should they do what? What should mm -hmm. they do differently or be aware of working for another millennial? I would say be casual. Get to know them on a more personal level. Um, I think it's... They want to feel comfortable in the work environment. It's no more being a professional at work and then going home and being yourself. It's now you're yourself at work. So how can you relate to them in that way? Perfect. Which means you could be yourself too as a manager. And I know managers that I've had, we've had that fun dialogue and got to know each other. And it's not just coming in and doing business. It's how are you doing? How is your weekend? How's your dog? How's your mom? And more having that connection. Got it. The word millennial, do you have any reaction? I mean, it's so th it's everywhere, right? I think it's more fun. Okay. Yeah, I like millennials. Right. I We're, do. I think we like the word, the word more millennial. Yeah, millennial, I just think it's got a powerhouse. It's the biggest demographic hit That's in the right. workspace. I think they're you know, vocal to your mm -hmm. point. I think mm -hmm. they're creative in their thinking. I, I just, mm -hmm. I like learning from you. So I'm going to be more in tune to Brendan's feelings going forward. Oh, so thank you. I'll be a better leader for Brendan. It's the future right here. Yeah. I mean, Boom. millennials of the future. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for this your awesome. time. You're welcome. You're welcome. I appreciate Thanks, it. Natalie. Mm -hmm.